Good morning. Okay, this morning I'm going to create a very simple 3D text. It has excellent effect if you use it right, and it's a lot simpler than you would think. I'm going to start off by creating a, uh, basically just a word, and we'll put in 3D for the sake of argument. Now, with this kind of thing, you can use any font, but it's always good to use a nice, strong, bold font. So we're going to use my old favourite, Impact. Make it a nice large size so you can obviously see it. And there you have the word 3D. Now you're going to be surprised at how simple this project really is. We'll change the colour and give it a we'll go for a corporate blue, shall we? And basically I double clicked by the way there onto the uh, the layer where I'd written 3D. On here just click level, uh, bevel and emboss. Got quite a simple bevel there, but we'd like to uh, let's make it a little bit bigger and soften it a bit. There you go. So you've got a beveled font. It's not really 3D just yet, but this is such an easy tip. I am using a Mac, so obviously there will be different keys on uh, on your uh, PC. But literally, while that's selected, the 3D text, hold down Alt, and with your cursors, press up, left, up, left, up, left. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it on this tutorial, but while we keep doing this, what we're really creating is just a copy of the 3D file. And it just places it tiny bit above and to the left of it. Now it looks 3D. Now on the right hand side will come all the way down to the original one, which will now be at the bottom, and it's also the bottom of this pile here. So then, again, double click on that layer, and we'll go to Drop Shadow, the drop shadow there you see it's just caused it on a global but on global light there and we're gonna let's spread it out a little bit more get a bit more oomph to it and send it in that direction to the left because that's the kind of light image we've got there that it looks like the lights coming from the left hand side so we have the shadow that way as well and you literally have 3d text now with a shadow now to show you at its full effect we'll pop a little white box behind it and we need a shape. And it's actually very, very green, that white shape. So we'll uh, lose the colour overlay for a second. But there you see, you've got a very, very simple 3D font, uh, 3D text. I hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.